Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Marilyn Darling Show. <clears throat> and welcome to another ink review. And also, Happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers out there who are celebrating Mother's Day today. I hope that you're all having a great day wherever you are in the world. Today we're going to be doing an ink review, and I have yet to set up because I got distracted, as one does, and time just seemed to get away from me. So, <clears throat> How is everyone doing today? Are you having a nice day? I hope you're having a nice day. Wherever you are in the world. <clears throat> today we are doing a review of Graf von Faber Castell. Cognac Brown. All right. Hiya, Renee. How are you? Are you having a nice day? What's new? Graf von Faber Castell Cognac C O G N A C Cognac Brown. One Iana, two Iana, three Iana, four Iana, five Iana. Today's pen is the Lamy Vista with a medium nib. Medium nib. <clears throat> I said I was only going to do my reviews with the Noodler's Conrad, but I decided but I wanted to keep that green in there and get it as gone as fast as possible because <clears throat> that'll be the way to do it. <clears throat> no, I didn't have any fabric test fillings, so I can't really see that. Oh, good. Yeah, I mean, it seems to do well with the calligraphy. It does, um, has like two totally different tones from using it in a 1.5 millimeter stub and using it in a flex nib. So it has a very wide range of colors. I think that this is kind of middle of the road, medium, lamy. So, Raph, Von, Faber, Castell, Cognac Brown. One Iana, two Iana, three Iana, four Iana, five Iana. Hi, Gary. How are you? Are you having a nice day? Graf von Faber Castell Cognac One Anna, two Anna, three Anna, four Anna, five Anna. Every day is a good day to be alive. Even if you're having a really bad day. Good day to be alive. 
We have Von Faber, Castell, Cognac. I don't think I've ever had Cognac. Have you ever had Cognac? 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 Five. Yeah, the green is kind of an ugly green. <clears throat> I mean, it's a nice olive green. Don't get me wrong. It's perfect, spot on, but not my favorite color. This, I'm not going to say it anyway. One Anna, two Anna, three Anna, four Anna, five Anna. Yeah, kind of expensive. Cognac. <laughs> Phonetic, phon phonetic pronunciation. Graf von Faber and Castell. Cognac Brown. One Anna, two Anna, three Anna, four Anna, five Anna. All right. Faber Castell Cognac One Anna, two Anna, three Anna, four Anna, five Anna. Hi Gristle, how are ya? Are you having a nice day? Hi you will, hi Gary. Boy, uh, the whole team's here. Oh boy. Seems like Faber Castell really likes the old fashioned colors. Cognac is awesome. If you like raisins, it tastes like a bright raisin flavor. Oh, raisins. I had cognac, but not much of a drinker. Yeah. Hi, Bristle. How's it going? That's good. Graf von Faber Castell. This is a really nice brown. <clears throat> One Anna, two Anna, three Anna, four Anna, five Anna. I kind of, um, Kind of makes me think of um, um, diamine autumn diamine autumn oak. It is very similar to autumn oak. <coughs> or even um, that's the one that I just bought the bottle of. Diamond ochre. So, ouch! Damn it! I swear to God, if I ever invent a table, it's not gonna have front legs. I'm always banging my freaking knees into the legs. Graph the bun, paper castell.
one Anna, two Anna, three Anna, four Anna, five Anna. <coughs> yeah, I was gonna sub you, but couldn't find Avatar. Gary doesn't make videos. Marilyn, if that crew neck is somewhat waterproof, I'm gonna order some. Yeah, we will see in the water test. Oops, speaking of which. I should have done that first. You guys have to remind me to do the water test first. Always forget. I do think this is green. Um, seven. Brown, yes. Okay, a little creature. That wasn't very interesting at all. to laminate a piece of black paper. Hopefully in the next couple of days I will have better device for doing the ink swatches because this way is fine and all but I feel like I'm wasting ink and I don't like wasting ink especially because they give you such small samples when you're like doing an ink flight or any like Goulet gives super small ink samples two mils it's not really enough to do a whole lot of experimentation Yeah. 
you know? Okay. Well, all I know is that I'm all about free speech unless I'm trying to convince people to hurt other people, and then that is not good. Or if you're giving people who are unstable, bad advice. And that is not good either. I have been in many a situation where not stable people have been given the wrong ideas and then they go and kill themselves. So, it's not good. I mean, I have not given people bad advice, I should say. I have seen other people take advice and go try and fly off a building. So, would not recommend. Zero out of five stars. Give it a nice, good swizzle the water. Get a piece of toilet paper. Do some toilet paper chromatography. One Anna, two Anna, three Anna, four Anna, five Anna. See, free speech only applies to talking one-on-one -on -one to a crowd. That is what I learned from my ex-husband. Every organization that records audio or visual can make up their own rules for what they want on their media space. <clears throat> I 
Wow. <clears throat> this doesn't look like too much. Um, water resistance, but it's not moving, so that's good. Right? Alright, I'll let these dry. Continue on. Graf von Faber Castell. One Anna, two Anna, three Anna, four Anna, five Anna. <clears throat> That's right. And there's also like a two, three, four, five. There's a a moral aspect to the things that come out of your mouth. Wh whether you're promoting good things or bad things, and you know, it's to the eye of the beholder, but when you're talking to somebody with perhaps an unstable personality or has bad thoughts going through their head, you can really make a difference in the way that those people think that's morally wrong, that's morally bad to the society as a whole. If people, if I were to be like, I don't know, drinking ink will see, cure cancer, that would be bad. That would be morally wrong because people could die. But like, I know in my head that that's morally wrong and that you shouldn't do that. But some people don't have that built into their, their upbringing, as it were. People have different are taught different morals from their parents. And it, and it makes a difference for what we teach our kids. I mean, we all want our children to grow up and be happy and healthy and live productive lives. One Anna, two Anna, three Anna, four Anna, five Anna. But it's the in-between things and Teaching people to be kind and <clears throat> teaching kids to be uh, observant and affectionate and not to cast judgment just because somebody has a different color of skin or a different belief than you do. Or, but there's also being able to tell the difference between truth and a story or um, a way of telling a story from the past that might seem fake, but back then they didn't have the words that we have today. So One Anna, two Anna, three Anna, four Anna, five Anna. If you tell a big enough lie often enough, people will believe it. That's right. And I am a firm believer that people should try. 
there like there there are really two ways of thinking you know i could see that this color is brown but you might see it as like maybe a dark orange but who is right you know we all have we have to kind of make up our own beliefs on the same type of thing that we're seeing and it's sometimes difficult to make that come across to other people and 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 that's the wonderful thing about fountain pen ink is that we can all see kind of the same thing and we can have likes and dislikes for different things am i going to end up no honey i had the worst heartburn <laughs> yeah sometimes you have to and sometimes you have to tell a lie because if you tell people the truth about a certain thing it could have a worse effect on them. You could tell people, yes, this shot is going to hurt. And you're going to feel like shit for days. But it'll save you. It'll save your life in the long run. Or you could tell people, oh, it's just a little pinch. You could, you could dumb down the lie. And then hope for the best. Because everyone is different in Italy. Anything can interact with people differently. Me, for example, I can't, my pain meds don't work on me. So the only thing that does work on me is ibuprofen, which is really hard on the liver. But that's what I take when I'm in pain. And other people have to have morphine or fentanyl, which is like the most potent drug on the face of the planet. It's a thousand times more potent than um, morphine per milligram, which is insane. Like, I can't even imagine what that would feel like. But we all have the right to be different and our opinions all matter even if they don't match up with our own beliefs and that's all I'm gonna say on that subject it's all subjective that's right <laughs> Okay, dokie. Last piece, but not least. Grab on still. What am I doing? <laughs> One Anna, two Anna, three Anna, four Anna. Fabiana. All right. I need a bigger desk. Oh, Lordy, Lord, 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 Lord. Oh, yes. For 
but you... Oh, you do, do you? Do you have a bottle of this timing purple dream? <laughs> I want to see what this purple dream looks like. Timing purple. Oh my god, I've got ink on my computer. Ink everywhere. Even on my mirror. Jeez. Oh, that's pretty. It's a little dark, though. It does remind me of dark lilac. Not so much in the sheen, though. It doesn't have any sheen. <clears throat> like a teeny tiny bit of sheen. Hmm. You do have a bottle. Well, I have been looking for a purple... You know, the one. The one purple I bought when I was very new into the hobby. I bought a bottle of Diamine Deep Magenta. And it is this purpley, pinky color. But I realized early on that I shouldn't have bought this bottle. <laughs> Because it's not the one. You know? I bought a bottle of Monteverde Valentine Red. <clears throat> that is the perfect red. So far, that is the perfect red, I should say. <clears throat> but. That's the perfect red for me. Getting anything? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Okay, well, we'll just have to wing it. We'll get you a lovely purple. Ooh, I have to look at these when I get off. Um, it does look like it's a current ink. It's a hundredth anniversary, however long that ago was. <clears throat> All right. This is the Pen and Gear Memo book from Walmart.com. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. <clears throat> CVS caliber notebook paper. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. Birmingham Pen Company, 52 GSM Tamoy River Paper. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. Maybe a little bit of normal Tomoy River ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. Rhodia Dot Pad, 80 GSM. It looks like it's trying to feather, but it doesn't. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. Fabriano Eco Qua 85 GSM. No feathering. No bleeding, normal ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper.
Lamy booklet. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use the backs out of this paper. Claire Fontaine, 90 GSM. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use the backs out of this paper. Exceed 100 GSM heavyweight paper. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use the backs out of this paper. <sighs> the Premier Premium Journal from the 99 cent store. Oh, it is feathering just a little bit. And it bled through the page. I would not use the back side of this paper. Unison composition book. You can find this from Target. What the hell is going on there? Anyway. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. Mead wide rolled notebook paper. I'm surprised it didn't feather. It's very cooperative. No bleeding, no ghosting. Well, normal mead ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. The writing tablet from shopiscolor.com. You can find this at the Dollar Tree. And it did feather on this. I can't believe it. Although not terribly bad. A little bit of ghosting. Not very much ghosting. I would still use the back side of this paper. Express It Filler Paper. You can find this at the 99 cent store. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use backs out of this paper. 32 pound Hewlett Packard copy paper. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. Bay Fang calligraphy paper. 74 GSM. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. Oh, I need to stop yawning. Do an ink comparison. Sorry about that. All right, this is Graph Bond Fabric Castell Cognac Brown with Thymine Sepia, Noodler's Rome Burning, Thymine Terracotta, Thymine Autumn Oak. These look very similar. Monteverde Chocolate Pudding. This one almost looks black. Monteverde brown sugar, that one also almost looks black. 
Purple is brown. Junior Bond nude. Noodler is black, uh, red black. Robert Oster hippo purple. Noodler is beaver. Diamine saddle. Junior Bond lead de tay. Diamine golden brown. Diamine golden brown. <clears throat> Wait, why do I have two of these? Oh, because they look totally different. Okay, I don't know why. Noodler's polar brown. Robert Oster African gold. Diamine raw sienna. Diamine ochre. And Monte Verde pumpkin cake. All right. Now I want to compare it to some oranges just to kind of get a full scope. This is Pure Pens Pending Sands. This is Tatcha uh, Sharaku Koyami. This is KWZ Monarch. This is Kyo Iro Moonlight of Higashiyama. Noodler Summer Tanager. Colorverse Tango. Jerobon Corner Line to Egypt. These kind of look similar. Mont Blanc Lucky Orange. Diamine Peach. Diamine Pumpkin. Monteverde Mango. Monteverde Topaz. And Sailor Manyo Yamabuki. All right. Let's take a look at our ink swatch and our ink splotch. And this is what our ink swatch turned out like. And here is the ink swatch that will go to inkswatch.com later on today. And here is our toilet paper chromatography. It does have some pink in it. You can definitely see that there's pink here. It has some nice pink going on right here along the outside. And like a caramely brown and then some dark brown. So that's fun. Okay, hi Tasha, how are you? Oh dear, where did I leave off? Okay. When the 10 isn't available, sometimes you have to go with the 6. Can you mix a diamond blue with the magenta to get more of a purple? Um, I would assume that you could. I will be glad to send you a couple of vials if you wish. I would love just one vial of um, purple uh, diamond. Diamond. Purple dream. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I love the diamond spotlight. There's something artistic about it, and but I don't like crazy because it looks like a red used in old hippie music magazines. Yep. I mean, I'm just some of my favorites, along with the others. Yeah, I really like the diamond inks. They're very well behaved, and especially for calligraphy. Those are so intense, but I love their water. Yeah, 
Yeah, Automoke is not a waterproof ink. Only all favorite ink so far, waterproof or not. My favorite ink so far is probably the red one. Or maybe even the purple one. I can't decide. Organic Studios, Walden Pond. Just got out of bed. Just got out of bed. Well, Pinonia Storm Cloud is waterproof and it is mostly non irritating black. Hmm. <clears throat> I was up very late last night freaking out because a rocket was headed our way and there's like a moment of terror when you can like see something coming and then all of a sudden it passes right over you and you're like oh my god it didn't kill me it's amazing and you're so grateful <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You have my ad. Okay. Okay, good. Yay! Yeah, part of it went in the Indian Ocean. I was wondering about the rest of it, though. <laughs> the parts that were flinging off. Some parts of it landed in other people's backyards. At any rate, well, what do you guys think of today's ink? Are you looking for a really pretty neutrally brown color? Let me know in the comment section below. That is all for today. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed that one. I hope that you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, and I will be back very soon with another video. So, take care until then. Oh, God, be bye.